Hey everyone, so this is my review of the Aegis Bozma. Uh, as you guys know, last week I had received my Aegis Boza, Bozma, which is a smart door lock that replaces only like one side of your lock and leaves the other side intact. Really great for anyone who is in an apartment building where you can't alter the locks. Also at the same time, this allows you to use your original key instead of having to completely give up that key. So you still have the capability of using your key while also still being able to use your phone or the fingerprint scanner, which is a alternative, uh, additional add-on to this um, with camera on that one too. But this, I only bought the actual lock. Um, mainly reason why is because in an apartment building, I don't think I can really kind of put something on the wall out there. Um, so this worked out still really great. Now, as for the app, the app is actually really well done. Um, everything kind of makes sense. And also at the same time, it's very clean. Um, and it doesn't look like they just kind of pieced it together uh, in two minutes. So um, I definitely like that overall um, about this. It seems like a high quality product, even for the awesome price that I got it on Kickstarter for, which I think was $69 um, versus other ones that are similar to it, like the Amazon one, which is, definitely over 150 I think it is um, so I think that this was an awesome choice now as for the capability and compatibility that it has it does come with additional pieces so depending on the top type of lock you have it can actually work with that so there's these little pieces depending on what kind of lock you have and it adjusts for uh, any of those deadbolt types um, so as for using it over the past week, um, sorry about not having the review up sooner. I did not want to post anything during the elections. So that way I'm not a distraction also. Um, so, um, now as for the overall, um, capability of it, it does exactly what it needs to do and what they said it does. Now, the only thing they did not have when they sent these out was the ability to use the Google home while wow, you, yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, they just sent an email out that does allow, that does tell you that the update for Google Home should be coming out in the next couple weeks, but I probably will not be using that feature, and I will tell you why. So, out of the past week, um, it's been working really great. Um, it locks the door, so I don't have to worry about it, but there was an incident where, like others in apartment buildings, my mailbox is really far down and also downstairs, and normally I don't take the key to go... <laughs> Uh, I don't usually lock the door, so I don't take the key or the phone with me. But I completely forgot because of habit that this is going to lock itself. So when the door closed and I kept walking, I completely forgot I didn't have my phone. Um, it does do a chime, but I guess I didn't really hear it at the time. Um, and I got locked out. Uh, while I was actually sitting outside the door um, and waiting kind of for someone to wake up and let me in, um, I started thinking about it and I was like, you know what, let me see if I can just use Google Home. Um, and it hit me afterwards, but like while I was sitting at the door, I was able to actually yell into the apartment and activate the Google Home. <laughs> now it didn't do any kind of mute, uh, you know, unlock the door because I don't have part of the app yet, but I was able to activate the Google Home. So if the feature for Google Home and Alexa is made to unlock the door in case someone comes by and you go, hey, unlock the door, and you know, and the smart lock actually does it. Um, it's it's kind of worrisome, uh, or it makes me worry because you should never really have Google and Alexa controlling locks. So I probably will not use that feature unless it's something like, hey, Google, is the door unlocked? Do not react, Google. Nope, don't do it. Sorry. I don't hey, Google, stop. Okay. So, see, that is an example. It kind of picks up on all of that, even if, you know, you're outside the door locked out. So, uh, I probably would not be using that feature. Um, so, I, I personally am not too kind of like crazy about it. Um, but it is a feature that if you have a very large house and Google is nowhere near that lock, uh, or any kind of window that someone can scream into. It's probably a feature that's going to be really nice. But in my case, in an apartment, it's too close. And Google's too sensitive when it comes to its hearing that I will not be using that feature. Um, overall, I really do love this lock. I'm going to probably look into other 
products from Aegis Bozema in the future, especially when it comes to um, getting a doorbell uh, camera and the fingerprint scanner for the unlocking. Um, sometime once I get a house, but for right now in the apartment, um, I think it did exactly what it was meant to do um, other than the time I got locked out. <laughs> so again, everyone, if you guys like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I will try to put up videos as much as I can as uh, it, I've started getting busier with new jobs. So um, I will still try to release one video a week, um, but there will be probably a little bit more spread out. So look forward to those videos. Make sure you like and subscribe because that's going to be important since there's going to be less videos. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.